Okay, so this morning, thought I'd take a little walk on my own. Early morning, about a quarter to six. Everybody else is still sleeping, so I figured I'd go out and do a little tour around the neighborhood. Go down to one of the eateries I like to go to. Lowly. Lolo? Lolo. And give a little tour around. Okay. Let's check it out. This is the treacherous part right here. Goodbye, family. I'll be back in a while. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Beautiful morning. <coughs> of course, I'm coughing all the way. Had a cough here for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Can't seem to kick it. Tried all the different, you know, remedies. There's a, that's a nice house right there. I like that. It's a friend of mine, Lolo. Or Noli. I don't get the names wrong. I'm not used to these names. And crossover. Check out the little cart. They use those to transport all kinds of stuff around here. Of course, you can look up this street here. It's very nice. Trash pickup is unusual here. It's not what you'd expect from the, like in the United States where they have the big green cans. This reminds me more of probably the 1960s or something. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful though, really. When you take a look at it, you slow down enough to. You know, really take it in. Here's our car check. We don't let anybody in the neighborhood unless they're, you know, belong here. I think it works, system works pretty good, probably. There might be a couple that slip through. Right here is our little neighborhood strip mall, kind of. Got a little pharmacy back in there. The little uh, green store. I prefer to go to this community store. They're really friendly, nice people in there. And over this direction, we have 7 Eleven. Not sure if you can get that in there. 7 Eleven over there. They charge almost double for everything. So, we avoid that. No sense in paying twice as much just across the street. This little shack is new. It's a little, I don't know, they have corn dogs. I haven't tried it yet. This one, 
it's for rent. I do believe that's for rent, so if somebody else wants to open some little kind of shop. A lot of little shops here. It's kind of a thing they do. Okay. Yuki's corn dog. I haven't tried those yet. I think they're probably alright. The neighborhood. It's really nice here. It really is. I mean, for a foreign country, you don't, I don't personally feel like I'm living in a foreign country necessarily. We fit right in. People are very friendly. Philippines is, I mean, the infrastructure, some of the stuff you see, you know, it takes some getting used to. But overall, the way that people live here, you know, to me it's just, I don't know, they're strong, they're strong, you know, they don't let the little things bother them, it's very relaxed, people are very relaxed here, you know, no real hard moaning and groaning about, you know, this or that, they accept things the way they are, and they love their country. Water station, we've been here before. That's where we get our water. Got to get, you can't drink the water out of the fountain or out of your sink. It's just, you know, you can sit on the toilet all day. Montezuma's Revenge, except this is not Mexico. Here's one of our favorite places to eat. Explosive burger. 78 pesos for the Tao Volcano Burger. So these are all named after volcanoes. Pinatubo, Isarog, Kanlu. I can't pronounce it all. Oh, okay. But these are all very, this is like a deluxe burger. I mean, the picture doesn't give it justice really. But 78 pesos, so that's, that's about a dollar twenty-five. Dollar twenty-five. Pretty good. Snacks. We tried to swarm up here, and it was terrible. Don't eat there. <laughs> and docks. That's a chain that's here in the Philippines, and they're always really good. Lechon Manuk. Barbecue rotisserie chicken. Hey boy, what are you up to? Huh? <laughs> There's the main highway going from Tagaytay to Balibago. Very nice. So we're going to come out here, take a view of the highway. This is early in the morning, so not very busy. Lotto. That's the national lottery. If you're a gambler, which I am, I've played it a few times. Get a shot of the highway. Come on down here. Let's see what Lolo is low up to. Angel Burger. They like Angel Burger. They're sleeping on the ground because they're not selling hamburgers at 6 o'clock in the morning. These are all little shops. If you go anywhere in the Philippines, you're going to see the same scene. Lots of little private businesses. It's an entrepreneur's dream come true, this place. You, know, you can rent one of these little spots and basically sell whatever you want. Here we have a nursery plants. Oh, Myrna, she's got a nursery in her house, in her yard. <laughs> she loves her plants, you know. Jenny and Jetson. I'll get comments, hopefully. 
telling me what that really is. Another eatery. Still waiting to get going. And look at this. Fresh tilapia. Ready to go. Very nice. Just an early morning little thing down here. Nothing too exciting. There's a big nursery. The traffic here is unusual, to say the least. We got some hanging meat. Look at that. Side of rib, side of beef. Quarter, I guess a quarter of beef, whatever. Come and get it. <laughs> Slaughtered today. They don't mess around. This is a new condo project they're putting up here. It's going to be pretty nice, I think. Live the condo life. They're fairly expensive. They're probably maybe four or five hundred dollars a month for a one bedroom. You know. In comparison to the U.S., that's of course sounds very cheap. But once you're here, getting that kind of money, working here, if you're a Filipino, that's difficult. That's very difficult. That's a lot of money. <laughs> you know, for a regular Filipino working here, they can average a good job is. Probably six to eight hundred dollars a month, maybe. I'm just kind of guessing at that, but from what I've you know heard and talked to other people about it, that's a good paying job, you know, with a degree in either a nurse or a cop or you know government official, maybe gets a little more. They don't get paid high amounts. It's just not the way it is. So retirement money for a lot of these expats and Americans, Germans, Australians, coming from any other foreign country, do a little better than the average worker here, you know? So anyway, not to preach. I'm not here to preach. Got chickens running out everywhere. Kind of the way they run their operation. Interesting. Very laid back community. The way they run things is very laid back. Well, two special. We got a chicken by the got it down the street. We gotta go over here. See if Lolo is awake. We go in here. Good morning. How's everybody doing this morning? Okay? Doing good? <laughs> Let's see what Lolo is doing. Oh, looks like he's still sleeping. We'll come back in a little while. There's my dog friend following me around. Huh? Waiting for a handout? No, buddy? So anyway, this is the situation just outside my gate. Hopefully my video or my audio is coming across okay. I'm not positive about that. Coffee spot. You probably noticed a lot of debris because, like I was talking before, the infrastructure is just not here. They don't provide trash cans in places like this. If you go into Manila, into the more modern part of uh, the Philippines, you're going to find trash cans just like you 
went anywhere. <laughs> but out here in the, in the, more so out in the province, they don't call this the province. They, this is more like a city, but it's, you know, actually a province. So, province of Cavite. A lot of Americans, a lot of expats like this area. It's cooler. We're only about 30 minutes from Tagaytay, which is one of the vacation spots, the volcano up there. And it's very cool weather compared to the majority of the Philippines. So, we'll cross right now before I get run over by this motorcycle. I'm gonna run you over. <laughs> More dogs. I'm gonna get out of the road here. All right. Come on down here. Mythical crowns salon and spa. Well, this is the area where we live in. We are open, okay. We are open for business. Bus line, front by. Traffic's starting to pick up now. Just a little after six, I think. Start getting going. So I'm not gonna walk too far up. I'm gonna go see if Myrna's awake. Every once in a while you'll see a Harley or a big Yamaha or a big Honda, but mostly scooters and other small, like 150, you know, enduro type motorcycles, I guess you call them. Most of them are pretty small. Looks like they're getting ready for the nighttime eatery over here. They'll put it up as a temporary and they'll have food vendors in here. Kind of nice. We came over here one night and ate. But that's kind of the neighborhood, you know. Up the hill there is St. Mar, our grocery store. Mr. Leampo, another uh, Lechon Manuk, pork and chicken. Now we gotta try to cross again. This is where it gets tricky. This is where it gets tricky. We don't want to get run over. But I mean, there are no rules or laws preventing or, you know, there's no rule against crossing anywhere in the road. No such thing as jaywalking here in the Philippines. You just take your chances and go for it. Looks like we got a spot coming in this direction. We got it. Let's go. We got it. No problem. No problem. Now, when I first came here, this time around, I would always come down here and shop at 7-Eleven because, you know, I thought, oh, well, that's something I'm familiar with. You know, I'm used to seeing that. Got a new Jeep sitting there, taking a break. But I would go to 7-Eleven all the time and buy, you know, my cigarettes, my Tandawai. Come to find out I was paying twice as much going there than I would if I went across the street over here. So I learned quick on that one. You know, but over time, we learn what's the best way and what's the worst way. So now I'm heading back toward the gate. Go back to the neighborhood, go back and see if anyone's awake yet and have some breakfast. The obligatory breakfast, look at this one. Wow, see? 
That's what makes life worth living here. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Uh, enough of that. So we're going back in the gate. Santa Rosa Heights. Yes, sir. Very nice. And I'll put a pause on this right now and see you back in the house. Good morning, Nelly. Hi, John. Lovely. A collector of SUVs, Nelly. I talked to him one day about it. He's like, oh, I just love to collect cars. <laughs> Can I have one? No, we need to buy a car. That's one thing we haven't been able to do yet. Then we get around fine without it, but it would be nice. And up our street we go. Back to the gate. Whoop. I push off. Is that our cat? We love our yard for some reason. No, it's coming in here. Okay. Back to the homestead. This is it. Just a short tour of Windrath. Showed you part of what we experience every day. There's a lot more to walk around, but that was a good walk for this morning. Thanks for watching. Be sure and like, subscribe. If you'd like to get notified for more videos in the future, hit that notification bell. We appreciate your support, and we'll see you next time.